In this video, I'll be showing you how to add content pages and question pages to your lesson activity in Moodle. After adding the lesson activity, you'll see a screen very similar to this one. Notice the lesson administration settings are on the left. In this area, you can go back to edit the lesson settings by clicking the edit settings link. Also, notice at the top of the screen there are various tabs. By default, you'll be taken to the edit tab, which you're currently seeing right now. You'll be using this tab and the preview tab as you build out your lesson. To get started, I'm going to add a page of content to my lesson. So I'm going to click the add a content page link. To add a content page, add a page title. Then add the page content. You can choose to have your buttons aligned either horizontally or vertically. If you leave the button checked, they'll be horizontal. This means that if you have multiple buttons, they'll display across the bottom of the page rather than vertically. Uncheck this if you prefer to have them vertical. This checkbox indicates if you want to display the page name in the menu, allowing the user to click on it to access this page again at any point during the lesson. I'm going to leave this checked since it's the first page in the lesson, and I'm displaying the lesson menu. Next, add the button names and a jump, which is the location where you want to go when the user clicks the button. When you're done, save your changes. Next, I'm going to add another page. I'm going to uncheck the display and left menu checkbox because I do not want this page displaying in the lesson menu. This is actually going to be an additional content page that will display to a user whenever they answer a question incorrectly. I'm going to add one more content page as the summary for this lesson. I'm going to give the page a title and add its contents. This is going to be the last page in the lesson, so I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and add in the button name continue and I'm going to jump to the end of the lesson. So far, I've added three pages to this lesson, all of which are content pages. As it's built right now, the user will experience the lesson in a linear fashion, but I'd like to add some branching. But first, let's take a preview of this lesson as it stands. Notice that the title of this lesson page isn't displaying in the lesson menu. This is because I had unchecked the checkbox for this to display there. The reason for this is, again, because this is going to be a page that users may or may not access, depending how they do with the question page that I will be inserting next. To add that question page, I'll need to navigate back to the Edit tab, and then navigate down to the drop-down menu of the location where I'd like to add it, and select Question. I'm going to add a true-false question. First, I'll enter the page title. And within the page contents, I'll enter the question. Next, I'm going to enter true into the correct response field. Then I'll enter the feedback into the response field. When a user answers the question correctly, I'm going to jump them to the end of the lesson. The default score for the correct response is one point. Next, I'm going to enter the wrong response, which will be false. Then I'll enter the feedback into the response field. For users who answer this question incorrectly, I'm going to jump them to the next page, which will take them to that additional content page. I can also specify to send them to that page specifically, but in this example, it will accomplish the same thing. I can see that my question page has been added and that my sequence of pages is no longer linear. If you look at the page that was just added, you can see that it says end of lesson and next page. So it clearly outlines all of your jumps for the lesson. 
Now I'm going to go up and preview the lesson so you can see how this would experience as a user. But first I'm going to go ahead and switch my role to student so that we can also see the progress bar. I'm going to select the correct answer, which is true, to demonstrate how this will jump to the end of the lesson. Now I'm going to show you what the student would experience if they selected the incorrect response, which should show them the additional content page. So now I'm receiving the wrong response feedback. And it jumped me to the additional content. The lesson activity has so many different possibilities that we really just scratched the surface in this video. This activity, although it will take some time to master, is definitely worth your time.